recent years and with good reason. Together, they make developing and managing a project more streamlined, faster, easier, and more cost effective. Well, you might have likely heard these terms used interchangeably and wondered to yourself if they are one and the same, haven't you? Hey guys, this is Archana from Edureka, and I welcome you all to this session on Scrum versus Agile. This session is designed to offer you guidance and tips on most frequently asked questions regarding Agile and Scrum. Like are agile and scrum the same? What exactly is agile and what is scrum? What are the key differences between agile and scrum? Sounds interesting, right? So without any delay, let's get started then. Building a new product or a feature isn't an easy task and having it succeed in this competitive marketplace is even more of a challenge. Well, it can be difficult to decide which of the many tools and techniques available in the market are appropriate for your project. If you work in tech, you have probably heard about Scrum and Agile. Things can get a bit confusing to newcomers regarding to this nomenclature. Scrum and Agile seem to be used interchangeably when you first enter this world, but there is an important distinction between them, and you should be aware of that. So, what is that distinction? Well, Agile refers to a set of methods and practices based on values and principles expressed in Agile Manifesto. This Agile Manifesto has things like collaboration, self-organization, cross-functionality, teamwork, among many other things. Well, Scrum, it is a framework that is used to implement Agile development. While a team can be Agile without practicing Scrum, it cannot practice Scrum and not be Agile. Confused yet? Don't worry. Here's a simple analogy. So the difference between Scrum and Agile would be like difference between a recipe and a diet. A diet is a set of methods and practices based on principles and values. Whereas a recipe would be a framework you can use to implement your vegetarian diet. This is similar to relation between Agile and Scrum, where Agile is the diet and Scrum is the recipe you follow while implementing diet. If I have to put them in technical terms, Agile is a mindset focusing on communication, team thinking, intrinsic motivation, empowerment, innovative walks, flow, and value creation while developing a product. Well, this Agile comes a number of flavors, meaning there are a number of subsets to Agile project management philosophy. Each one of these methods emphasize a somewhat different approach within the confines of incremental, iterative, and adaptable philosophy which Agile projects. And Scrum is one of the Agile methodology, or it is a framework which implements Agile philosophy. It is a framework for handling roles, events, artifacts, rules, and guidelines to implement Agile mindset. So the difference is that Scrum is a more refined form of Agile which takes its core principles from Agile, while adding a twist of its own in order to formulate a strategy that is a lot more different from Agile. So finally, the conclusion is Agile and Scrum are not same after all. While Agile is a philosophy, Scrum is a framework that implements the philosophy. So these both come from similar places but are solving different things. To understand Scrum methodology properly, we should know what Agile is. So let's start by understanding the buzzword Agile. Agile is a philosophy, a way of thinking, a movement, one that helps us deliver products and services more quickly and of higher quality to our customers. While at its core, Agile is a set of ideas for actions that keep a software development team organized and really efficient. Agile started in about 2001 when a team of software developers got together in Utah for a weekend of skiing, fun, and discussion. So that discussion, resulted in creation of Agile Manifesto where they compiled their values and principles into a document that's easy to understand and apply. So Agile is more of a philosophy and set of values and principles to follow rather than a process to apply to a project. Well, there's no step-by-step -step formula, just a list of principles to guide a team along the development process. So as you can see on the screen, Agile is a mindset described by four values, defined by 12 principles, manifested through numerous frameworks and practices. And Scrum is one of those frameworks. 
now you should be clear about the difference between agile and scrum right so when people talk about an agile project management methodology what they are usually describing is a flexible iterative design and build process agile projects are characterized by a series of tasks that are conceived executed and adapted as the situation demands well rather than a pre-planned process agile is based on the response you're getting you see and act so this agile offers a lot of benefits for development teams if you ask me what are the benefits that you can avail when using agile well you can have early delivery of your products at least increments and agile easily adapts to changes which is very much required when you're developing a product since you take feedback from customer now and then as in very frequently you will have a better experience to provide better customer feeling and you have total control over your product so it offers scope control and lower risk factors you have a lot of collaboration and communication between team members which results in the best quality of your product like i said enhanced quality is one of the benefits and it offers high sustainability apart from these agile also offers many other benefits well i'm not going deep into that because our topic of concern is what is agile right so by this point i'm sure you've understood what agile is and it has a lot of terms to offer all you have to remember is agile is not a method or a process it's just a principle which teams use when they are implementing their methods to develop their product now talking about scrum like i said earlier and i have been saying agile comes in number of forms meaning there are number of subsets to agile project management philosophy and scrum is one of them each one of these methods or frameworks they depict a somewhat different approach while they follow the philosophy of agile well think of agile like a water we have hot cold and warm water water has some characteristics cold is one of them likewise scrum is one of agile process interestingly scrum got its name from rugby formation a game where a team of people with different strengths and skills work together as a team to move a ball along the field and the concept of scrum here is somewhat very similar to that so basically scrum was introduced by two professors in year 1986 in hardwood business article later on software developers ken and jeff each presented their own version of scrum that we use till today so what exactly is scrum scrum it focuses on using visual tools to break down a large development project into smaller steps that are accomplished in sets what we call a sprint i'm sure you might have heard of sprint right well a sprint starts with a team meeting where they decide on pieces of project that need to be worked on within a set of timeline and this timeline is typically it's about 2 to 4 weeks but it does vary according to company requirements anyway so during the sprint the team works on each item to move it from the product backlog pile to done list so once the sprint is over teams meet up to discuss and review everything that has happened and solve issues that might have occurred This goes on until either the deadline has been reached, the budget is exhausted or the product owner is satisfied with the final product, whichever comes first. So the thing which you have to notice here is that after every product increment or you can say after every sprint, there is a presentable product or you can say a working product which is sent for review to the customers or you can say end users. So it's as simple as that. So basically what happens here is that they have list of tasks to be done. so the team the product owner and the scrum master everyone together makes a list which is called product backlog they pick up few tasks from backlog and put it in the sprint backlog and work on them during the sprint after the sprint is done you have that working product which is being sent for review or feedback and the same cycle again begins the same and during the sprint we have different kind of meetings that have been going on or that keeps going on like you have sprint planning daily scrum sprint review and sprint retrospective and many more so in nutshell that's how scrum works anyway there are certain key terms that you should know when we are talking about scrum so a scrum project is comprised of three vital roles which are product owner scrum master and development team then you have four events or sometimes they are referred to as ceremonies as well which are scrum planning daily scrum sprint review and sprint retrospective and there are three artifacts or you can say things that are used to note down you have product backlog sprint backlog 
and product increment. You also have something called breakdown charts as well. Anyway, the most important thing is you have three artifacts. So like I said, in nutshell, that is how Scrum works. And if you want to know more about all these key terms and everything about Scrum, you can just refer to what a Scrum video and Edureka playlist, which is put up in the description below. So do take a look. So to recap, think of Agile as an organizational mindset to aspire and Scrum as tool and techniques that a team can use to work towards the new mindset and ultimately organizational success. Pretty clean, right? Yeah. Well, with that said, let's check out the key differences between Agile and Scrum. Now that we know Agile and Scrum are totally different things. Well, I've taken certain features based on which I'm comparing Scrum and Agile here. Let's check them out. The first thing is nature and scope. Well, we have been discussing this since the beginning of the session. So Agile is a mentality and a set of principles, whereas Scrum is an action plan to implement those guidelines or principles. So as for the scope, remember when I mentioned that teams can practice Agile and not Scrum, but it is impossible to practice Scrum without being Agile. Well, you can definitely follow the values and principles of Agile and not do Scrum. Scrum is simply one way of doing Agile software development. There are plenty of other things like extreme programming, Crystal, Xscale, DAD, which all follow Agile principle. And Scrum is one of the most popular framework among them. That's it. It certainly is not the only one. So thus, Scrum is part Agile, but Agile is just not Scrum. That's pretty clear, right? Let's move on to the next point, planning. So how do you plan in Agile and Scrum? How are they different? Well, the beauty or the main essence of Agile team is to produce recurring deliveries, as in the continuous deliveries. To do that, planning in Agile occurs at three levels. Release planning, iteration planning, and daily planning. And under Scrum, the next sprint is planned after the team has completed the current sprint activities. So basically, iteration planning and sprint is referred to as Scrum. It has a lot of, or you can say four steps where planning is done, like release planning, sprint planning, daily scrum, and sprint review and retrospective. So the thing that you have to understand is in scrum, the next sprint is planned after the team has completed the activities from the previous sprint. That's it. So how flexible is agile and scrum to changes? The key advantage of agile methodology is flexibility as agile adopts to changes very quickly and very smoothly. Agile is supple to changing circumstances. Whereas Scrum has somewhat rigid and structured approach or style. It takes time while well, its stiffness to repeated changes is a downside for profitable projects. So when it comes to flexibility, you should go for Agile. Next up, we have design and execution. Well, due to multiple executions in Agile, the design happens to be very simple. It will not take anything different or something that wasn't done before. It's a straightforward process. Same goes for the execution as well when it comes to Agile. Scrum, unlike Agile, works on trying out new and creative things. But Scrum design and execution, because it's new and creative, it yields concise and smart outcomes. Next up, we have monitoring the process or tracking the progress. Agile actually requires detailed tracking of the process. So tracking takes place after every milestone of overall design. The key thing that you should remember is it takes place after every milestone of overall design. For the ease, the design is divided into multiple pieces. It is not just the design, but also the process and analysis have to be monitored in periodical intervals. While in case of Scrum, the monitoring takes place after completion of certain functional units of project rather than each design. Overall, the monitoring by Agile is more tedious and more detailed when compared to Scrum. So that's what is the difference when it comes to tracking out the progress or monitoring the process. So the next feature that we're going to compare Agile and Scrum is leadership role. In Agile methodology, the leadership of project plays a very crucial role. So when it comes to communicating the hurdles, there is a head or leader who is responsible for handling them. The leader represents the entire team. So the leader or the head in the agile team transfers these obstacles or impediments or the hurdles that he faces when developing a project to suitable entity to get the guidance and get it solved basically. But when it comes to scrum, there's no such thing as team leader. All 
team members of the team are expected to get the job done in self organized manner. Hence all of them are responsible for it. So the scrum process actually fosters multifunctional and self organized team in a way every team member is involved in project and sometimes that could get really messy. But that's the difference between agile and scrum when it comes to leadership. Next up there is mode of communication agile involves collaborations and face to face interactions between the members of various teams in scrum communication is done on a daily or a weekly basis with a fixed role assigned to scrum master product owner and the development team members. So guys next up we have estimation time and delivery and let's see where agile and scrum stand with respect to this feature. Well agile usually involves delivery of product after high value addition or in the advanced stage of development to business users. So as you guys know we begin project from the basic state and it takes time to move on to advanced stages in agile delivery usually tends to be towards the project end. While on other hand scrum delivers a build to clients after each sprint delivering maximum business value from the beginning of the project and then continuing throughout the cycle. Lastly, we have customer feedback, which is very important when it comes to developing a product in agile. The completed job is frequently sent out to end user in order to get feedback. Well, scrum follows the same way, but in more orderly fashion, wherein a build is shown to user at the end of every sprint cycle. While in agile, the process are kept simple. Scrum allows for experimentation and innovation. So that's it, guys. These are the major differences. We can say that scrum is more redefined form of agile which takes its core principles from agile while adding a twist of its own in order to formulate a strategy that is a lot more different. The easiest way to differentiate between these two concepts is to rationalize it like this agile explains why and scrum explains how. Well with this we've come to the conclusion of this session. I hope you liked the session. Well, if you have any more key points to add to the differences between agile and scrum or if you have any queries or doubts you can put them in the comment section below and we will get back to you as soon as possible and I'll meet you in next session with another interesting topic. Thank you guys.